overall for us, what's a smart building? It's a building that's intelligent, that's connected, that all the in-building systems coherently integrate in ways that bring more value to the owner, occupiers and users of buildings. Johnson Controls is the world's leading building technology company and we supply products and services that make buildings more secure, more sustainable, more productive and we help owners, occupiers and tenants of buildings get the most out of their built environment. The security needs of buildings and cities are changing rapidly and so that means things like extreme weather events that can impact you, insider threat, crime, terror, social media. We have to come up with solutions that protect enterprises from those risks and threats. And that's really enabled by digital transformation. It's enabled by cloud technology. It's enabled by machine learning and AI capability that didn't exist before. But now you need it to deal with the volume of information that you ingest. And those are the solutions that Johnson Controls are bringing to our clients because we understand intimately what's inside a building, all the technologies that can be deployed, how to find them, where they are, how they're performing, and then what are the protections that you layer on top of those to make sure no bad actor can access those systems and give bad commands and controls to those um, that are outside of what you want to have those systems do. The intelligence and the in-building equipment is in our portfolio and this building is a great example of all of that in one space that we can bring customers to and show. So it's got our intrusion security, our access control, our CCTV, our fire detection, our fire suppression systems. So we integrate all those different systems into one central management system, Johnson Controls Enterprise Management, that manages the entire building. Our security system here, we've integrated with the destination control lift system. So as you badge in through our access control system, um, that informs us that you're here and you're in the building, you've arrived, and we know who you're going to visit. And so the lifts then take over and they'll deliver you security to that destination only, and they'll do that in the lowest energy way that we can do. So if you have a breach in some part of your security posture, knowing where the gap is the first most important thing. There's a big gap in industry today where there isn't an inventory, a digital inventory of all of the different parts of your security portfolio. So that really is a first step to understand where all of the parts are, know what the status of it is, and also to its vulnerability to cyber threat. So in John's Controls, we have assurance services and that allows you to be able to digitize all of the inventory for your security portfolio. Uh, in there, you'll be able to determine your monitoring capabilities of your assets in your security portfolio and observe for any degradation of any of those assets. And so what you see on the screen here is we can give you an enterprise view. So we start at a world view, where are all your, your buildings and your assets? And then we can zoom into any particular asset. In this case, we'll zoom into a building in Cork in Ireland. So if you imagine a digital twin of a building, what does that mean? Well, it means there are you know, literally hundreds of thousands of components and things and systems and electronics within a building. And so we're able to bring that digital twin, that view, uh, to life on a screen like this where you see the building but then if you want to understand the layers and things within a building here you see exploding out into all the things that are contained within the building and again that's what helps us to manage the life cycle of your building post construction and that's hugely empowering uh, for all kinds of use cases for preventive maintenance for quick fixes for bringing service technicians to buildings if you want to value the asset if you want to sell the asset Customers play a key part in keeping data and buildings secure because essentially security is about human behaviour. But for us it's about empowering our customers in knowing where they, do they begin that security journey. So cyber hygiene is that first step. Knowing where your assets are, knowing where your endpoints are, knowing the, the status and health condition of those assets. Do they need to be quarantined? Have they been compromised? And empowering our customers with the tools and technologies that we've developed here gives them the uh, ability to defend against potential threats and gives them the knowledge of understanding the enterprise risk for them. Reactive security could be considered as responding to an incident or threat, but only after you understand what the incident or threat is. Proactive security is a greater insight to what might be occurring before it occurs, so you can get a faster response time from your security divisions. 
Specifically, what we use in Johnson Controls is artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data analytics to better understand what's happening in your environment. So within Johnson Controls, we have a, a number of different platforms that build on top of that. Uh, the first is our Johnson Controls Digital Vault. That's really the platform that brings in all the data, structures it, makes it coherent. Uh, on top of that, then, you can actually start to do the data analytics. And from that data analytics, then, we can branch off into a number of different areas. Um, so proactive enterprise management is the buzzword at the moment. Uh, most buildings and smart buildings are moving to adopt and use that. And that is where you have this continuous management of the cycle inside the building, be it for performance um, or energy. Uh, an example of that from Johnson Controls is Johnson Controls Enterprise Management, where you can manage a single building or an entire portfolio across the planet. Johnson Controls plans to stay ahead of that changing curve that we see or this technology curve that we see coming at us by investing heavily in digital transformation. So we have created a digital solutions business unit in Johnson Controls with its sole purpose is to understand um, those changes in technology and how do we harvest all of that data and that digital transformation, how do we help clients on the digital transformation journey in buildings, in security, how do we leverage all that technology that's emerging and put it to economical use? And so for us, that's you know, a constant challenge. It's our daily challenge that we do, but it's one that we really enjoy. It's very exciting. It is a new frontier. Um, you know, we're a company that's been around for more than 100 years, so we've stood the test of time. But for us, this is the next generation. Um, and so we're investing heavily in it. We understand it is the way the world is moving. It is what our big clients are looking for us to solve. And we're working at pace to bring solutions for all of those needs in digital transformation.